Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the closet. Welcome back to the Christopher Moon thing. And hey, check this out. Got us a little new, uh, new space saving thing. Thank you, Amazon. But uh, anyway, today, what I wanted to talk about was about me getting schooled in the comments. I was uh, under the impression, not, not having looked this up in a long time, not having, uh, uh, you know, been through a lot of this stuff recently. Because once I got my last DUI, I believe it was before the, the date of this change. And, and I just kept pushing and pushing back uh, that final date, you know, for court because, yeah, I was kind of scared to deal with it. And by the time I was getting through it and going through the classes and doing everything, everything that I heard from my classmates and everybody, you know, all my whole lived experience pretty much was uh, with the information that in the state of Colorado, you will get a felony charge on your third DUI. And, you know, that was true up until, check this out, I'm going to put up a little picture. Uh, this date right here that's right they changed it and you know i was still going through all those motions well past that date so it like it never really came up you know in any of the classes or occurred to me to to look any of this stuff up because it actually helped me to think that if i ever got another one if i got this third one it was gonna you know be a felony it was gonna end everything i knew uh you know, living-wise, just just in general. You know, it's a scary thing to think. But, uh, nope, as of that date, the laws changed. And let me read what they said. And, and, and you know, all this, all this information, it comes from, uh, I'm not going to say the person's name, but it was somebody who viewed one of my old videos, and I really appreciate it. So thank you, sir or ma'am or whoever you are. Because uh, it was a very respectful, informative uh, comment. And I really, I really appreciate that. I loved it. Thank you. Um, you know, you inspired this. <laughs> and, and for me to do a little bit more learning and reading and get on that phone and, and figure out, you know, what's going out, what's going on out there in Colorado? You know, what's going on? So I went and I looked it up. And as of 2015, it changed from three to four. And the, you know, the four times, let me, let me just read what the state of Colorado said. Um, fourth, regarding the fourth DUI, fourth, under current law, a person who commits a fourth or subsequent DUI offense commits a class four felony. Now the fourth doesn't mean it's a class four, the fifth doesn't mean it's a class five, like the, the classes of a felony are all very different depending on the, the crime committed. So for a class four felony, um, you could get that because it's your fourth, but you know, also, you know, the other grouping of individuals that have a class four felony are sexual assault, uh, vehicular homicide, I, I believe neglect, criminal uh, neglect, whatever that means. I think I know what that means and I, I don't wanna think about it. That's, I don't, I don't like that. I don't wanna think about that at all, but uh, yeah, there, maybe there's something else. I don't know. I didn't write it. But it, it's it's a grouping. It's not the fourth is four. The first is one. Because if the first was one, you'd be screwed. But that's what we got going on. Uh, with that, I guess, you know, I guess if, if it takes you a little bit longer, you got to hold on to that drink a little bit longer to uh you know make it through then it's good because it gives you maybe one 
maybe two more opportunities to commit, you know, whatever crimes you are if you're out drinking and driving. That's not good. But uh, also, I think it's kind of bad because, it, you know, for me it had that effect that if I mess up one more time, I'm done. And now, you know, I don't know. Does Would that make you, you know, if you got two and you thought I got two more times before I'm done. What level, you know, what level of fear is that that you're gonna either, you know, put it away, never touch it again, or like, eh, you know, eh, makes me feel better. Makes everything better, just pour that all over me. I don't know. But regardless, regardless of if you have a little bit more time, a little bit less, it's just, it's up to you if it's good or bad. For me, I'm indifferent on it. Like, like I think it is a good thing and I think it's a, uh, maybe a potentially bad thing. The only thing that I worry is that with more opportunities to, to stay in the wrong, if you would, with more opportunities to stay and, and, and not just think, I don't want to have any other way out but to quit, to, to stop, to, to whatever you need to do to get away from that kind of trouble. Like, I think it, it, it's just closer to, to getting its claws in you for good because you're not fighting the law. You're not fighting the time in jail. You're not fighting any of this stuff out there that, 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 that you're worried about. That's the stuff you're worried about. The stuff that you're not worried about is what happens if I never, you know, never get caught. What happens if uh, there's no consequences to me drinking and driving and doing stuff? That's the stuff that I worry about. That's the real scary stuff. Once, once, if there's nothing there to prevent, you know, something to happen, some negative consequence to where you shouldn't do this thing, break this law, do whatever. It's easier to, to let let that alcohol, let the drugs, let whatever just sink its claws into you. And, and, and you're not gonna wanna change. You're not gonna wanna get out. Once it gets in there enough, it's in there. And then you don't make your choices anymore. You don't decide to, you know, maybe I'll get a beer tonight because it was a rough day. Maybe I'll do this because of whatever. Those are the reasons we kind of give ourselves leading up into that. But then it becomes getting off of work. I need a beer. Getting up for work. I need a beer. It turns into that. It'll turn into wake, waking up. I need something to keep it going. I've seen people with the DTs and everything going through it. It ain't good. It's a, it's a, it's a real physical thing. Like... It's a real physical thing that, that affects the whole person. The whole person. And if you just keep drinking, you know, one of the biggest things that, that, you know, worried me about drinking was I was going through all those classes and doing AA and doing all that stuff. A lot of the old dudes, these old dudes that spent their whole life drinking, they had these like big bulbous noses with like, all the, all the capillaries were bursting or something due, due to the alcohol like so much alcohol like starts it starts changing the way you look it starts changing the way you look it changes the way you think feel like everything it, it, it's just it takes your life and i don't want a life to be taken on this side of the wheel on the other side of it on any side and, and you know whether it's three whether it's four like it's just something that everybody needs to take a look at. If you're in this camp, if you're in this boat, take a good hard look at it and, and, and think of, you know, think of the consequences inside the legal system, but think of them more uh, in your own life. Think of them more, yeah, how's it gonna affect your family? How's it gonna affect your loved ones? How's it, how's it gonna affect you in the long run? Because at the end of the day, you know, this is your game. This is your thing. The world ends with you, you know? 
Don't give it all up for some dumb shit. Don't give it all up. But that's all I got for the commenter out there. You know who you are. I know who you are. Thank you very much. Amazing comment. Amazing information. Thank you so much. And uh, for the rest of you guys, I love you guys too. You know, comment whatever you want. Comment whatever you want. If I'm wrong, if I'm right. I love to hear it. I love to hear from you guys. And I hope you have a wonderful day.